Hello and welcome back to another part of the character modeling tutorial. I'm Daniel and once again we'll continue our um yeah the usual. So um we had worked on you know this piece of cloth last time and we didn't quite finish it yet. Uh we're going to continue this time. So now the first thing that we need to do is to really fill all those areas with uh, faces and shapes and areas and what whatnot, and we'll start. I know where should we start? Let's start um, over here because these are simple and small and nice. So we have here. We always have to kind of keep in uh, keep an eye on how many vertices we have on each side. So if you consider these two always a corner, you have here one, two, three, four, and you have here three, while down here you have just two. So we kind of need to get those um, be the same. Since we can't really lose any detail up here because we need it, we're going to add some down here instead. So let's take it and move it to here. This one to do over here, and then I will subdivide it with two cuts. And just fit them in somewhere. Um, then we can actually have quite some more details here, anyways. We don't have much at the moment. So, selecting these two and subdividing them, by the way, just in case you overheard the couple of times that I uh, mentioned it, um, the shortcut that I use for Subdivide is a custom shortcut, and you'll find more information about that in part zero of this tutorial. So, check that out if you're wondering why Alt W is not working for you. And if you know that, then perfect. So, we have now here the same amount as um, at the top, but we need still some over here, so making some space. You know, you could have looked at these kind of things while uh, drawing the lines, but at the same time you don't want to overdo it because, yeah, you, in the end you want to concentrate on the design and the shape. So once that's done, you just start to connect these very roughly at first. You just need to, you know, connect them. Don't mind the subdivisions. Um, it's way easier this way. Um, when you're done, start making subdivisions. And I'm going to select all of those again individually and bring them closer to, to the skin. Like that. And then we just have to connect these here, and we have the first face done. Now the normals are wrong again, so Control N to fix it. So over here, um, we don't have a subdivision, and you could consider adding one, but at the moment I'll leave it. Oh no, I spontaneously decided different. So let's add one and adjust these quickly. All right. Now I want to do these ones at the, you know, <laughs> well, that's fun. So we don't need these after all. <laughs> you see, there's a hole in the costume. Well, that's what it is here. <laughs> So I just removed that, but we need that, uh, so it's not too troublesome. So for down here, we're going to make sure that they really um, hide down here, just so that we can see any of these, um, you know, where where the object starts. It should look like it's I don't know somewhere attached, maybe. And then I'm going to um, connect it somehow. 
I mean, it's not too important. As we cannot see it anyways, but what we do see is, again, you know, these lines. So maybe let's start to connect these. Um, so as for here, we uh, want to have, you know, sharp corners again, so we need um, these kind of close vertices together. So when we, let's actually add subdivision surface so that we cannot forget about it. By doing that, you will get, you know, these sharp, sharper corners, which is what we need. So don't forget about it. Over here as well, and here. It has some side effects to it, this technique, but um, at the moment we don't have much better choice Oil being so just continue with that system. So the normals are somewhat wrong, but you don't need to fix it all the time just if it annoys you. You can also just continue modeling it and fix it at the end. Uh, it's no problem at all. Then down here we have another phase, and I'm going to extrude it one more time downwards just to make sure that it's really um, you know you really won't see that ending and then just connect that and here I think I'll go with two subdivisions and just rotate them a little bit to focus on that corner with, with which we will connect it in a bit so over here connect that and and over here another connection <laughs> wow i i really have to start to be creative about what i say i mean this is i don't know how this is as a viewer i mean i guess it's not so bad but if you have to speak like that all the time and say well now i'm connecting this to here and now i'm connecting this point with this point and that for seven hours almost I think that is awkward really um, so what I would like to have is if possible uh, to have a loop along the edge and in this case we might actually be able to do it so I'll create a loop here and then merge these and then do the same over here or actually let's leave this for later because it's easier to connect these if you just have a face so we just shouldn't forget about it and over here let's just use this one additional um, loop that we have to crease the corner once again So this goes to here. And yeah, this will be a quad later on. Something like that. And then, yeah, these kind of points are kind of um, not, they don't have a really good structure, but I don't see a good fix for now at the moment. Uh, so we have no choice but to just connect them. Well, actually, you'd have to make a loop around everything, but it's easier if you do that later. So for now, I just want to connect the loops. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's quite easy at this point. Maybe you have to, again, uh, subdivide somewhere or not, depending on the situation. Just always look a little bit ahead of where you are and try to figure out the best way to fill the area. So here, for example, you'll need a cut again.
And over here, not, maybe. Mm, thinking about it though, I'll do this different. Uh, I will connect these lower ones and continue this as we did earlier a couple of times. Great. That's good so far. Time for some more subdivisions. Yeah, but that's basically what's modeling about. <laughs> it's about shaping something and that takes time. I like to compare it with sculpting with clay or, or such because many people think that modeling with polygons is like this mathematical thing or just have to know your tools well to be able to you know create whatever you want but that's really not it in my opinion it's really also skill that you have to practice and and do things with it to get good and it takes also, lots of patience. And if you're serious about modeling, I'm sure you will definitely learn those well. Now, this will be the one of the last areas we fill in this video. Um, so start by creating, you know, some faces in the middle that you know, create most of the uh, surface. And once you have, you know, the raw things in place, you can always start to subdivide and adjust. That's uh, it's easier that way to keep the surface smooth, and you'll not have any troubles with bumps. Nice. So we're getting to some issues here at the moment. When they don't line up well, you have to again figure out ways to um, make space for something. So this one is again a good example. Over here, I remember I needed some, and over here, I also need some. So Let's why not let, uh, just combine these and make space for both of them. And if we're lucky and I didn't think of something wrong, then it should work out good. Yeah, something like that. And over here we have a similar situation. It's just a bit, um, bit harder this time because we have we're missing one over here and we're missing one over there and that's always this uh, when you're missing two on different positions I mean one at one place and uh, you miss another vertex at another one uh, you always have to connect them because then everything will be good again <laughs> but I'm not sure if, if we won't have any uh, disadvantages by connecting these here since it might you know what actually I will just ignore uh, the possibility to connect them and just um, get myself some new loops from outside like that because well it should be a smooth surface and it can't hurt too much and we can use these to you know sharpen our corners again so it's not like um, that this would be a bad thing now last thing just to finish this off again select um, all these vertices here in the center and extrude them inwards that way you have 
connected them and I will let them you know go down here a couple more faces and over here the last area a couple of F's and we are done so that's it uh, let me quickly with shift H you can hide everything else except that so that's what we created today it's just the basic shapes of the clothes um, next time we'll continue with um, some more details and hopefully get further with this thanks for watching I hope you learned lots of things again and I'll see you in my next part